Welcome to the Mobile Money Nation. My name is AJ and today I'm going to talk about round two of the stimulus checks. So there's been a lot of speculation ever since May, since those first stimulus checks went out for the coronavirus stimulus, because many businesses have shut down or they've reduced the amount of hours or they've furloughed workers. And so there are many people who are not employed or severely underemployed and the stimulus checks were a way to help the economy not go into a recession. And so they've had months and months to talk about and think about what a second round would look like or if there would even be a second round and it looks like we're getting a lot closer to there actually being a second round of stimulus checks. Better late than never, right? And what makes me think that we're getting closer to an actual stimulus check or an actual decision being made is that Congress is getting ready to go on vacation. Uh, starting August 7th, they're gonna go on their summer recess and they will be gone for a full month. And so just like any good employee or any good student, you're gonna use all the time necessary before you make that decision. If you have a book report that you know about at the beginning of the semester, most people are gonna take up the entire semester in order to actually work on it and turn it in, or even just to read the book. And so at this point, Republicans and Democrats are just now even agreeing that a second stimulus is needed and I think by next week, if not by the end of this week, that a decision will be made and definitely before August 7th, once they go on their vacation. So today I'm gonna to talk about a few of the things that are proposed, some of the things that will be different as far as eligibility based on what we know right now. And so as far as the total stimulus amount, and this stimulus is expected to be closer to 1 trillion. There was about $3 trillion proposed with the HEROES Act, but instead of the $3 trillion proposed with the HEROES Act, it's gonna be closer to 1 trillion based on what has been made public. But one of the biggest changes is eligibility. And so the income limits for the previous stimulus was $75,000 for individuals and $150,000 for married filing jointly. The second stimulus is expected to lower that to 40,000 for individuals, and they haven't mentioned what it would be for families. But my assumption is it's gonna be double for families as it was for the individuals, meaning that it'll be about $80,000 if you're married filing jointly, and maybe they'll bump that up just a little bit more for families. There's no exact mention of what the amount of stimulus will be, if it's gonna be $1,200 again, or if it's gonna be lower, or maybe if it could potentially be higher just because they've lowered the income limits, which means there would be less people eligible to even receive it. But I highly doubt that it would be increased just for the fact of all of the discussion around how much people are receiving for stimulus and how much people are receiving for unemployment. And there were people who are really concerned about giving people more money than they would have made if they were working. And so I doubt that that's gonna be increased. More than likely it's gonna be equal to or less than the previous stimulus. And so speaking about unemployment, the additional $600 boost that was included in the previous stimulus on top of people receiving their normal unemployment benefits, that is going to end on July 31st. And there is no expectation that that is going to continue or that there's gonna be a lower amount given for those who are unemployed. And so if you are unemployed, you're gonna miss out on that additional $600. And so you're gonna only get the normal unemployment benefits that you would receive for being unemployed. However, one of the proposals to motivate people to go back to work would be a $450 per week stimulus for those who actually start going back to work before July 31st when that additional unemployment boost ends. And so the expectation is that if you have that boost of actually working and then getting that additional $450 per week while you go back to work, that that will motivate some people to actually go back to work. And so personally, I don't see how that would motivate me to go back to work. I personally would want to go back to work if I was unemployed, but I could see how some people may decide that if they're actually making more money being unemployed, that it may cause them to hesitate or maybe not work as hard to find a new job. Because the thing is that if you are unemployed, you can't just choose to go back to work immediately. And seeing that July 31st is coming up, which would be the deadline to receive that additional $450 per week, if you were to start working again before July 31st, it's not really in the hands of those individuals whether they're gonna work or not. Someone still has to hire them. And so there aren't people that were out there who chose not to go back to work and they had an offer that may still have that offer on the table to actually go back to work. So it's not really in the individual's hands. It's gonna be up to the employer. And so the employers would have to hire you before July 31st. Or if you were laid off, that company would have to decide to hire you back. And that's really up to the company at the end of the day. 
However, that is a nice bonus because if you can work and still get whatever your normal pay was and get that additional $450 boost, that does sound great, but we'll see how that actually works out and if the proposed date will change. Since we're only 10 days away from that date and we don't even have an actual proposal that has been submitted and agreed upon by Congress and the White House. So the fact is, if you are a person that is actually making more money on unemployment than you did when you were working, that is probably really an eye opener to the fact that, you know, you need to find some way to get a new job or to get a promotion or to get a raise so that that won't happen. The fact that you're able to make more money on unemployment, that is saying a lot about how underpaid people are in America. And you just don't want to be in a position to where it's actually more beneficial to you to not work than it is to actually go work and work hard and put in all those hours and then make less money than you would have on unemployment. And so I was lucky enough to where my actual nine to five job was not affected as far as my hours or as far as the amount of money that I get paid. And so I didn't have to worry about that, but I can definitely empathize with someone who, if they actually had the choice of being unemployed versus working and how that decision may sway them to continue to stay unemployed if they're actually making more money. I mean, it's really a straight up economic decision. More is better than less. So I hope you've taken the past couple of months to reflect on your current skills, current things that you're interested in doing and what new jobs or different jobs may be out there that you qualify for and that you're able to do and potentially even get hired for. But not only that, but to just work on your general personal finance to make sure you have your savings in order, that you have an emergency fund so that you can weather a storm like this if it were to occur in the future to where many people didn't even have the option to work. Depending on what type of business you were in and if you had to be involved with being face to face with people on a regular basis and you weren't able to replace those activities with Zoom meetings or WebEx or whatever platform you use where you can actually interact with people virtually, that's something you may want to think about as well. A job that isn't location dependent, doesn't require you to be high touch with people physically. Those are things that you might want to think about because you didn't really think about things like that because you didn't have some global health pandemic that caused you to have to stay away from other people in order to either for you not to get sick or for you to pass on a virus that would then get other people sick who already have other health problems and where this is actually a real threat to their life. And so while this is what we know about the stimulus so far, I will definitely keep you guys updated once more information is concrete and we know exactly what's going to be within that stimulus package. I expect that by this weekend or at the very latest by the end of next week that there will be some updates and it will be more concrete because they will definitely want to get this submitted prior to August 7th when they go on recess and more than likely prior to July 31st because that's when all of the unemployment benefits will end if there are no updates to the stimulus package for those who are unemployed in addition to the actual stimulus checks that may be sent out to people making 40,000 or less. And so all of this could be irrelevant by the time I post this video or maybe even by next week, but we will definitely see. I appreciate you taking this time out of your day to watch this video. If you're not a current member of the Mobile Money Nation, all you need to do is hit the subscribe button down below, hit the like button because you really like this video, and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.